Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Agriculture and Natural World. Today we would like to discuss about biology and management of nutsedge. It may be Cypress rotundus, it may be Cypress esculentus and Parthenia histocrats. Let's go in our slide. The see. First things the in the pictureized form we will see the we are observing that is Cypress rotundus. It is also known as nut sage. It is also under the family of Cypressi. Yeah. So just see the photos. Cypress rotundus. This is also the seeds. May, maybe it is like the groundnut, like the tubers are there, which is also feed by the pea. Okay. So just see it is one of the hazardous weeds. Just we are going to the biology. And so for the students, please, I will, I, I am telling it, uh, it that is it will most frequently ask in the exam ICR, GRF, SRF, or any type of the competitive exam for agriculture. Just see for coming to the biology, it is prevalent in tropics, subtropics, and temperate. Purple nuts that is Cypress rotundus is in tropics and subtropics and Cypress esculentus is in temperate regions having the yellow color is in fluorescences or flower. It is having perennial habit in the bold form. Okay. And glabrous heart with purple in fluorescences, maximum, maximum cases. Leaf tubes are rounded and stems are triangular. Okay, and coming to the just thing you observe, it is primarily reproduced by tubers and sometimes by seeds. So it is the propagating materials. For cyclical rotundas, the propagating materials are both seeds and tubers. For but for cyclical rotundas, esculentas only by tubers. Please keep in mind in the exam, and it is also known as. Wild washed wheat having in 50 to a hazard in 52 crops with 92 with 92 countries. Okay, and for Kishano logo for chemical weed control, what they will do for the farm when the Cypress, Esculentas or Cypress Rotundas come as a travel in the field. So, apply Hello Run, trade name is Semka, you know, and uh, having uh, in each packet around 18 gram, prices about rupees 780. And it is selective herbicides, systemic herbicides, so it can grow if you apply in one side of the field, it will go. So, field ke study karab chala jata hai through their dynamic and flowing and it is post emergence application of the herbicides. So, after, after 30 days after sowing or 30 days of the emergence of the weeds, you can apply hello sapiron or simpra. Those should be around 30 gram acting ingredient per hectare. Then coming to the roundabout dry fossage, dry fossage at a rate of 1 to 2 kg per hectare under non crop situation. Okay, and uh, uh, glyphosate is also systemic non selective herbicides. So please be careful. And paraquart or trade name is gamaxon at a rate of 1 kg per hectare as, as a result of the post emergent herbicide. When Cypress is grown actively in the field. And the another thing is if you grow organically uh, the crops, then you will follow the physical and ecological weed control method. Physical means deep summer tillage operation for uprooting of the weeds. Ukhane ke liye. Cypress rotundas ko mutha kehte in Hindi mein. Usko ukhane ke liye deep summer tillage. Of Istamal Karsakte. Soil fertilization 
and mulching technique is also effective technique for controlling cypress, rotundas or mat sage or cypress escalators. Lime sowing also suppresses the weed and intercropping also reduces the space between the weeds. Okay. So coming to the cover crops and crop residue like crop residue improvisations, cover crop, another crop crop you can grow intercrops and uh, sometimes some uh, sesbenia, uh, rostata, anything like that so that it also suppress the weed also property residue incorporation, under the crop residue incorporation you can apply maize residue then wheat residue, all these things and uh, under the competitive crops you can apply county and sesbenia for effective control of the weed ecologically then another hazardous weeds Coming, coming to the point which is also known as the roadside weeds or ruderals. Hindi mein isko parthenia kehte hai. So, hum jate hai us, uska biology ke upar. Jo kaise inho ne hum ko hazard create karta hai. So, we know that it comes from the tropical North America. It also widely known as the Congress grass under the Esterasi family. So for GRM or SRF students under the subject of the agronomy and soil science, please keep in mind it is also a parthenia, is also vegetable, is also known as congress grass. So every grass has a family of poesy or asteraceae, so it is under the family of asteraceae. And parthenia is also introduced in India with the myosid grain PL480 in Pune in the year of 1950. Five. So this is also in complete exam we also face in many times about this question. Okay. And so for the upcoming aspirant about GRF or SRF and any type of the complete exams about the agriculture, please keep in mind. It is an annual poisonous weeds. The stems is whitish in color and the flower is whitish green. It is densely branched, the flower is whitish and <coughs> it is also the flower is also situated in the terminal bar, terminal point and it is dead neutral and broad point heavy. Okay, and in many times it is often asked in the exam that is which chemical is present in the parthenia, so that is parthenin and your parthenis is basically a blue conolactone. It is widely asked in the exam. So, coming to the next slides, just see the pictures. This is the parthenium, so it is very easy to find out which is the weed. It is also allergic weeds, so parthenium uh, also make the allergy about the bronchitis or anything like this, dermatitis, uh, about that pollen. Okay, pollen allergy is also created by parthenia. Just see, control of parthenia. You can uproot simply by physical pulling or uprooting or using of the biological agents like Jaigo, Gamma, Bi, Colorata or Mexican detail under the family of Chrysophilidium uh, maybe or under the order of polyuretan insect. Okay, understand. So, another slide, this is the pictures from a Mexican detail, Jaikodrama, Bicolorata, just bicolor, bicolorata means bicolor, just see the pictures, so you can control simply by using Jaikodrama, Jaikodrama, Bicolorata insects. So, another thing is also, Epiplema Street New Anna, for burning insects on sunflower, it is also able to control parthenia by feeding itself, but it is not feeding sunflower. Okay, and use of the different type of allelopathic weeds, it is also able to control the parthenia. Cassia, Ceresia, Croton, Sparsi, Floras, this type of the weeds is able to control parthenia by secreting some of the chemicals which is very harmful to parthenia. Then use of marigold, Tacitus erecta. It is very effective for controlling parthenia. 
Miracle is Zarafa. It is also very effective for bottling Parthenia. So, in Mizo, it is known as a Darke. Darke, over here in Mizoram, we are trying to control Parthenia by applying Medigold. In Mizo, it is known as Darke. So, it is a very effective for cultural method of wound control. Then, coming to the chemical wound control, Kishana Vaipaliya, how can we control the Parthenia wound control? So, uh, we can use glyphosate post emergence application at the time of the rosette or flowering of the patinium. We can apply glyphosate at the rate of 1.5 kg air per hectare. Okay, then coming to glucosinate AM at the rate of 1 kg air per hectare for post emergence control of the wing. So, for GRF or SRF or ARS examinations. I also attend one time in the, in the ARS. So I also place that thing for biological agent for controlling parthenia. What is the things? You, you need to write Jayogama Bicolorata, you need to write Epiblema strain in your neona, you, you may write biopericides, you may write competitive plants like Cassia, Cassia, Proton, Sparsiporas, Cassius, Erecta, Marigold, Mirabil, Zalapa flower. Okay, and chemical for chemical for the farmer's point of view, you can apply diquart at the rate of 0 0.5 to 5 kg activity given per hectare at the time of flowering of the parking. So this is all about today. We will come later for the another videos for about the weeds and anything. So this is all about today. Thank you.